my lovely, lovely imps. Today has been a very busy day, hasn't it? Uh, <laughs> today we learned, or rather I should say late yesterday, we learned about the firing of Tucker Carlson from Fox News. And today we learned also that Steven Crowder, in a way, is also being fired, but he's being fired by his wife. <laughs> And by that, I mean his wife is divorcing him. And oh my God, is it hilarious. So Steven Crowder uh, is a conservative talking head that I'm sure many of you are familiar with. He is most famous for uh, doing horrifically racist uh, skits for derangedly hating on gay people, trans people, and women that he doesn't like. Uh, for going on uh, a, a very weird racist and anti-Semitic rants, including anti-Semitic rants against uh, other conservatives. He's an all around unlikable guy. And worst of all, he's incredibly unfunny. That's the, the greatest sin of all for sure. Uh, Steven Crowder has been around for a long time. He has this sort of show format where he has these guys who look like they're being held hostage. And every time he tells a terrible joke, they like forcibly laugh. They're like, ha 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 ha. And it cuts to like a reaction of them, like red faced and sweaty going, ha ha, good one, Stevie. Ha, good, good job, buddy. And then they sort of look at the camera and go, help me. Um, but it looks like his wife has had enough of him. Now, I want you all to get to uh, sit down with me and hear it from the horse's mouth uh, directly. So let's let's get right into it, okay? Let's, let's listen to what Steven Crowder has to say about his own divorce. Uh, I have been living with a proverbial boot. Oh, sorry. I, I left the good news from the previous section, or I, I left the news from the previous section on there. Crowder divorce arc there we go let's do it on my neck for going on years now uh since 2021 i've been living th through what has increasingly been a horrendous divorce now let me say on the outset to be clear there is no infidelity any kind of physical abuse at all on i oh, yeah i should get rid of the tucker reaction shouldn't i that's not appropriate that's 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 inappropriate. Maybe I should leave the Tucker reaction. You know what? Let's le let's leave the Tucker reaction. Either side, and no, this was not uh, my choice. My then wife decided that she didn't want to be married anymore, and in the state of Texas, okay. that is completely permitted. It um, yeah, it's permitted in most states. Actually, it's permitted in most uh free places that you can divorce someone. If you want to, you don't have to stay held hostage in a marriage. That's a very weird thing for you to say, Steven Crowder. It's been the most heartbreaking experience of my life. What I consider to be my deepest personal failure. And just so you know, my opinions on parenting and families have not changed. Um, I've always believed that children need a mom and a dad, that divorce is horrible. And I still believe that children need a mom and a dad and that divorce is horrible. But in your kids still have a mom, presumably. I mean, unless you're saying you're planning on killing your wife, which I sure hope you're not. In today's legal system, my beliefs don't matter. In Texas, divorce is permitted when one party wants it. Dude, what? Period. So, Bro, what are you fucking talking about, man? Okay, this section, straight up, look. The, the live Tucker reaction is gonna have to be moved. Just remember, he's filming this with a gun on his desk. This has got to be one of the most uncomfortable ways to just announce your divorce. <sighs> Unfortunately, my wife has been allowed by the disgusting democratic, uh, democratic norms in this country th to divorce me. If I had it my way, you wouldn't be able to divorce me. Dude, what the fuck, man? So for well over a year, uh, well over a year, in the best interest, as well as physical safety of my children, we've decided to keep this issue private and to resolve it uh, privately with the appropriate attorneys 
what have you, legal jargon. And all this, one thing I want to be really clear about is certain. True North here is that my children are blameless, completely without fault. And so we decided to resolve these issues privately as it's in their best interest. I'm sorry. Can I hear that again, what he just said there? My children are blameless. Why would you even, why would you even say that? Why, why would you even say that? Who, maybe, maybe it's because he knows that conservative, that his audience is like evil and so that they hate children so much that they would be like, it's, it's his kid's fault. She must have left him because of the kids. Let's get him. Why would you even say that? That's such a weird, that's such a sus thing to say. Completely without fault. And so we decided to resolve these issues privately as it's in their best interests, uh, both emotionally and physically to do so. Now, Physi what is, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> what is, this is, this is some psychology going on here right now. Woo! Oh, the other issue is, and this is something that I've kept private for likely far too long. Um, many other people knew about this behind the scenes. Some, not all, but some of them in positions of power, influence, leverage, knew of this. They also knew that the safety of my children included keeping it private. So if you're familiar with the idea of extortion, then you know the feeling well. Uh, now, some of these threats were so thinly veiled that I'm frankly surprised you didn't all guess immediately. Stephen has a lot going on, I guess is the best way to say it. He has a lot going on, and that should be clear because people don't do stuff like this if there's not a lot going on in their lives. I would like to implore my audience and everybody that isn't paying attention to this situation not to condemn him, but to pray for him. Sometimes people need a prayer. Sometimes people need a scripture. Uh, here's a little secret. Uh, just a little, I'm going to do a little bit of Christian translating as somebody who grew up in an extreme Christian, uh, household. Uh, obviously I'm no longer Christian, uh, but just a quick translation. If somebody says, I'll pray for you, honey, or, uh, they're saying, fuck you. I hope you die. Um, and if they say, uh, you shouldn't mock him, you should pray for him. They're saying, I think that you should you know, probably kill this guy. That's basically what they're saying. Just a little translation from, from Christian conservative. I just want you guys to understand that's what Christians mean when they say that sort of thing. If they say, I'll pray for you, they're basically telling, they're, they're, they may as well be posting the, uh, the, uh, here, let me show you. This is what it means, okay? If you, if you hear a Christian tell you, I'll pray for you, this is what they actually mean, okay? Right here. That's what they've just done to you. They've just sent you the LTG meme, okay? It's the same exact thing. It's, it's, they're the same thing. Anyway, let's continue. You know, Stephen purports to be a Christian. I am unsure at this moment if, if it is my place to say more than that. You know, maybe if I feel in further defense, something should be said, or maybe if I feel that the public has a right to understand certain circumstances, well, my children have a right to privacy. Now, some other uh, issues have been, uh, or I should say, uh, inferences have been more pernicious behind the scenes with demands and threats to use this information that... Posadas John says, in this clip, she isn't talking about the divorce. She's clearly calling out his, his uh, secret homosexual interest. Listen, um, many people have speculated about um, Steven Crowder and some of the comments that he's made and some of the photos that have been taken of him and his cons constant need to dress up in women's clothes for a joke and his constant need uh, to put himself in homoerotic circumstances as a joke. I do believe that it is, I, I think that Posadas John is correct in saying that um, that, that is, what she's talking about. It's very weird for him to try and say that she's 
trying to extort him here that this is some form of extortion and that she's targeting his kids i is oh god conservatives man their brains this is weird this is really weird they believe would be uh, so publicly embarrassing to me and my wife at a difficult time that it could be used knowingly putting my children in harm's way so Wait, how is that putting okay like i like don't get me wrong candace owens is a horrible uh bigoted psycho who would literally sell her own family if it meant that she could get a, a, a another million dollar deal for her stupid career um no doubt about that okay like candace owens is a hollowed out individual however i don't think that in that clip she was threatening his children. I just don't think that's what was happening. Uh, 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 okay. To those self-styled Christians, conservatives, and allies, well, not in my book. Now, if you find yourself, I, I don't want to get into details, so this is going to likely be the only time I have to address this or want to address this. If you're asking yourself, hey, did X person or did Y person know? The answer is likely yes, which will be made alarmingly clear as this process of discovery continues. Uh, and it also, by the way, makes me that. Oh, 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 it's re it's going to be bad. Dis He's talking about just that means there's a massive lawsuit. This isn't just a normal divorce. This isn't just a slightly messy divorce. The process of discovery, some shit is about to come out on on Crowder. For the record, I have not seen this clip. This is a fresh reaction. I didn't know just how insane this clip was gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be juicy, huh? So we're gonna get to hear, we're gonna get to learn a lot of interesting things about the disgusting, bigoted ghoul who spent the last, what, 10 years of his life pushing the most hateful propaganda you can imagine? And we're gonna get to see all of his dirty laundry aired out in public? What a shame. What a shame. By the way, if this if 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 getting to be on the cutting edge of mocking the worst people on the planet is your idea of fun, you need to smack the subscribe button right now on Demon Mama's channel because right here you are going to get the best cutting edge commentary on conservatives self-destructing and losing their beloved culture war because of their own stupidity and cruelty. Delivered live, loud and clear. Smack it. Vontix says, the sheer divorce dad energy in the GOP right now, if we could harness that, not only would we solve climate change, we could reach the stars. The divorce energy, oh, it's just every everybody, uh, Ron DeSantis and Trump getting divorced, Nick Fuentes and, and, uh, and, uh, Kanye West getting divorced, uh, Steven Crowder literally getting divorced, Tucker Carlson and Fox News getting divorced, oh, it's beautiful. And while we're laughing and having a fun time, let me remind you that while the conservative movement is in disarray, this is the time for you, my lovely viewer. No matter what your uh, political affiliation is, if you're not a conservative, this is the moment to get politically involved. All of their major figures are in disarray right now. They are all fighting each other. They are all imploding. This is the time right now to make a push for a better world. So keep that in mind. Let's continue. Much more appreciative of those who did know about this and in understanding the best interests of my family, my children kept their word and used discretion. Uh, I can't thank you enough. Sincerely, I appreciate it, won't forget it. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, I loved a woman so much that I married her. A woman who despite all of this, I still love as the mother of my children. And she wanted something else for her life. That's not my choice. She simply wanted out and the law says 
that that's how it works. Now, of course, look, I get it. There are multiple sides to every story, but one thing that is undeniable uh, in this case is that it's no one's fault but my own in that I picked wrong, and that's certainly not the fault of my children. And uh, I will say that what's in the best interest of my children um, is not internet drama, speculation, certainly not blatant or veiled shakedowns or dragging their father or mother, and I can't be clear on that enough, or their mother through the mud. And to anyone who tries it, I'm no longer going to pacify, capitulate, or sidestep because I love them a whole lot more than I love you. And I will continue to do whatever is necessary to protect my children, discussing the divorce any further on social media or on this show or in any public space is not what's best for them. I'll be handling this through the proper legal avenues and channels available as a matter of record in which I have. He sounds genuinely afraid. I really don't think he should have a gun on his desk right now. Like, the tone of his voice here sounds like he's about to do something drastic. Holy shit, man. He's like actually losing it. I, I, oh, I, we got to watch the full episode. We have to find the full episode of this. I need to see if there's more. Have more than full confidence. So I'd ask that you understand the need for and uh, respect our privacy in what is obviously a pretty tough time. And I hope that none of this has to go any further than that. We're going to have to watch the full clip. We're going to definitely have to go watch the full clip. There's definitely more here that wasn't included in this Twitter clip, and we are going to go watch it. We are absolutely going to go find this shit. Holy moly. This is so juicy. Oh my god. The Mr. Hyde comment? Okay, let's check this real quick, because somebody mentioned that he, he actually admitted to being gay. I'm afraid of it coming back. I'm afraid of Mr. Hyde rearing his ugly bisexual head. That was a sm that was a sh Oh! This is old. He looks way different here. I actually didn't know he admitted this. Short face. Um, I just don't understand what's like, why, why you can't be a guy who prefers uh, men over women and also not like to pay high taxes. Hey, I can be bisexual and also want lower taxes. Okay, let me ask you this. <laughs> How many people who claim to be bisexual are actual bisexual? Do you think it's a, a, do you think a lot of them lie about it to s seem cool? I'm coming for you. Remember how I constantly say conservatives are the most miserable, self-repressed people on the planet? Every single one of them is the most miserable, repressed person you can possibly imagine? Well, there you have it. There you have it fucking have it keep in mind like every single episode of this of his show he makes digs at at gay people he makes digs at trans people he makes digs at bisexual people while being bisexual himself deranged let's see let's see here we go here's the full episode let's find let's find the spot Hey, we'll be on with your regular programming and Nick DiPaolo in third chair in a little bit, uh, but needed to take a moment here to address some issues out there uh, that are circulating. Uh, it's never fun, but um, well, I guess let me be cl clear here. Uh, I have been living with a proverbial boot. Okay, so here's where we are. So this is the, this is the raw one. So we were like, what, like five minutes in. So he did this at the very beginning of the episode. My children um, is not internet drama, speculation, certainly not blatant or veiled shakedowns or dragging their father or mother, and I can't be clear on that enough, or their mother through the mud. And to anyone who tries it, I'm no longer going to pacify, capitulate, or sidestep because wow. I love them a whole lot more than I love you. And I will continue to do whatever is necessary to protect my children, discussing the divorce any further on social media or on this show or in any public space is not what's best for them. I'll be handling this through the proper legal avenues and channels available as a matter of record in which I have more than full confidence. So I'd ask that you understand the need for and uh, respect our privacy in what is obviously a pretty tough time. And I hope that none of this has to go any further than that. Now, on with the reason you're all actually here. That's it? Okay, so that is all that he said. Okay. 
So that's all he actually was willing to say. Now they're talking about Tucker Carlson or something. Oh, they're doing like a weird, creepy skit. And then it looks like they're talking about Tucker Carlson. Do you think Candace Owens beat him up? I don't know. Okay, so that's literally all he said about it then. Huh. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> This is amazing. Carlos Maza posted this in response to Steven Crowder on Twitter. <laughs> okay, guys, if you don't know, if you don't know why that's funny, let me just explain. A couple of years ago, Steven Crowder made a, uh, uh, a bunch of merchandise. He beefed with this, uh, this reporter named Carlos Maza. Carlos Maza, is a, a gay guy who is also a reporter. Um, and uh, I actually was on a show with him. Uh, he's very, very pleasant, incredibly nice person, uh, and a very accomplished reporter. And Steven Crowder had a beef with Carlos Maza, and it got to the point that Steven Crowder ended up making a bunch of merch that said, God hates, and then the F slur with a star instead of the A. And uh, uh, it's pretty obvious what he was trying to do there. Uh, it's extremely obvious that he was trying to, uh, you know, sell a bunch of merchandise that was basically calling uh, Carlos Maza a homophobic slur while getting away with it under plausible deniability. So this picture all these years later is just perfect. God, it's based. God, oh yeah, he also cowardly tried to say that it was, it was, the word was figs, okay? They, oh yeah, they even made a baby onesie. Yeah, it was pathetic. Steven Crowder made Vice write an article and then screwed the livelihoods of a ton of YouTubers that are barely getting by. Yup, that's true. That's true. True! This is from the Surfs. Glinner, Elon Musk, Steven Crowder. Divorce. Do, 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 do. Divorce because you won't shut the fuck up about trans people. True! Oh God, is it true? Listen up, liberal. My wife left me. Oh my God. Apparently, I saw I saw somebody say that apparently Candace Owens offered to bring, uh, uh, to bring Steven Crowder's wife on the show to tell her side of the story. Oh God! Does anybody have a source on that? Does anybody have the source? I saw a tweet about it, but I never actually saw a source. That would be so incredible. God, that would be amazing. Okay, apparently Owen Benjamin talked about this too. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Owen Benjamin is a Nazi, a neo-Nazi. Um, so let's just, just take that with a grain of salt when we read this image. This is a post from Owen Benjamin from today. When Steven Crowder asked me to perform with him in Michigan, I said, of course, because he was the team leader and we were gonna own the left. We worked on a song making fun of transgenderism. Right before showtime, they put me in tight white pants and a bedazzled cape. He wore a Speedo and leather chaps. I'm a natural Bravo, not an alpha, despite appear a natural beta. He used the word Bravo, but I think he meant beta. Not an alpha, despite appearing very dominant in most scenarios. D dude, bro. Bro. So I followed the team leader's decision, even though it didn't make sense to me. Cuck! You are a cuck, you loser! How was dressing like degenerate fruitcakes owning the left? I agreed, so I'm no victim, but I felt very uncomfortable saying no, and I didn't want to let down the team. Over time, I realized more and more that we weren't owning anyone, and I was just being asked to wear really degrading and sexualizing outfits. It's the main reason I don't focus on whatsoever on what religion or political association someone claims, only their behavior, because the only thing Steven Crowder is owning is a bunch of dresses and a broken home. Change my mind. Holy 
Holy shit. First of all, Owen Benjamin, Nazi cuck, can't even, uh, wants to defeat the transgenders, uh, but can't even say no to dressing up as Steven Crowder's little bitch. Oh my God. Okay, hold on, let's watch this. I really wanna watch this. All right, everybody, we're gonna react, we're gonna react in real time to Candace Owens uh, uh, responding to the allegations of, of extortion from Steven Crowder. You know, Can what I, I just have say, a question sorry, sorry. Can I just say, there is nothing I love more than seeing the worst people on the planet destroy each other. It is like, it's the, it's like the most enjoyable thing ever. Both of these people are blatant, unrepentant hate mongers. All that these people fight for is a world in which hate is 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 the dominant force, in which gay people are less happy, trans people have less rights, immigrants are treated like subhumans, and that we ignore literal, that we literally ignore uh, uh, climate change, uh, and we destroy our environment, and we simp for uh, royal corporate families. That's what these people fight for every single day. And I love it when they destroy one another. So let's do it. Let's let's enjoy. We're gonna turn off the Tucker reaction at this point because uh, it, it was funny. But let's go. You guys say I just feel like in the last twenty four hours things have just gone absolutely insane, right? Is it just me, or is it just seem like somebody pressed a button and the world has just gone? Bah! First and foremost, we find out about Tucker Carlson. We're all shocked. Too we spoke loud. about that a little bit yesterday. I'm going to talk a little bit more about that today. And then right on the heels, and unfortunately for him, it was after Tucker Carlson, we learned that Don Lemon is out at CNN. And I definitely want to talk about that because a lot of us are laughing, but we shouldn't be. There's a cautionary tale there. <laughs> okay. And just as if that was not crazy enough, as if it couldn't have gotten any crazier, I find out this morning that Steven Crowder has made a video accusing me of extortion. I, I, True, it's he unbelievable. Did. I'm gonna he show did, you. He did actually accuse Candace Owens of extortion, which again, like I said just a few minutes ago, was pretty weird because that doesn't seem like what she was, I mean, she was definitely, uh, it was a veiled threat of a type, but she was saying, if you don't shut the fuck about me, I'm gonna say some dirty shit about you, which isn't really the same thing as extortion. Stop, with all due respect to Steven Crowder, which there is no due respect. Stop being such a fucking snowflake, you bitch. Guys, it's actually unbelievable. And I fully believe this is a man that is on such a spiral. It is just shocking to me that any person cannot see exactly what he is right now. Lots to say about that. All of it and more today. Yeah, before we go any further, can we get some snowflake emojis in chat? I wanna see, let's see some snowflakes in chat for the lovely, lovely day of, of conservative snowflakery that we've seen all day today. Can we get some beautiful snowflake emojis in chat? Get them on up there, let's see them. Let's see the snowflakes. Thank you. Snowflakes, snowflakes. Let's go. Coming up on Candace Owens. So I gave you guys my thoughts briefly yesterday regarding Tucker Carlson being out at Fox News. A lot of people are sharing personal stories about him and how great he is behind the scenes. Look at all I those beautiful add snowflakes. Man, YouTube is spamming them. Beautiful. Love it that, but I also feel like I don't want to eulogize. I mean, Tucker Carlson is not dead. In fact, this is very much a beginning for Tucker Carlson. Um, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. There is no platform larger than the one that he just lost. Uh, uh, this is Candace Owens hoping that she can bring Tucker Carlson onto the show. What she's trying to say here is like, we, we want to hire you, Tucker. It's cope. It's self-interested cope. Uh, he is a wonderful human being. He has been there for me through so many moments. I mean, when things were going insane last year with all of the Kanye stuff, you don't even know what it means to have someone like Tucker Carlson. Lick those, lick that, lick that ass. Come on, suck right up to him. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, please be on our show. We would make so much money. <laughs> up the phone to check in on you and to see how everything's going and to remind you that 
in the end, who you are will be the thing that shines. I just love Tucker, and I'm really excited to see where he's going to go. And and in her mind, please be the Daily Wire. Please be the Daily Wire. Please be the Daily Wire. I am a person that personally gets so much. Okay, this will make it twice as funny if there's something truly heinous, because this video will get taken down immediately. I I I'm gonna say T minus two weeks before this video is permanently deleted from their channel when it comes out that Tucker Carlson did something unforgivable that got him fired from Fox News. T minus two weeks anxiety from a ton of text messages and emails and yesterday I said to myself could you imagine being Tucker Carlson sitting around you must just be completely inundated with offers in your email people texting I'm so sorry but hey can we get on the phone because we'd love to have you I mean that is a man that is having a serious amount of money thrown at him right now so don't worry about Tucker Carlson I think mm -hmm. yeah we'll see about that we'll see about that and guess what None of it is going to be as good as what he was doing at Fox News. Literally, we already looked at the numbers earlier on. Um, this is a separate segment. So for the YouTube viewers, you lovely, lovely YouTube imps who are watching this in the future, uh, just so that we're just so we're clear, Tucker Carlson's show was pulling 3.25 million viewers average in the last three months. There is no show that even comes close. The next largest show in that time slot was less than half the average viewership of his show. There isn't a larger show for him to go to. The Fox News primetime slot that Tucker Carlson had is the biggest slot. There isn't a bigger, there is no bigger pay. There is no bigger platform. No matter what, he's losing on this. Um, even if he goes and makes a show at the daily fucking trash or whatever else. Yep. Just just so we're just so we're clear. That's just a matter of fact. Candace Owens is full of shit, and that's a matter of fact. We all just want to know what it is exactly that he's going to do. And then came news, and it definitely was not as loud, but Don Lemon uh, tweeted this. He tweeted, I was informed this morning by my agent that I have been terminated by CNN. I am stunned. After 17 years at CNN, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. At no time was I ever given any indication that I would not be able to continue to do the work that I have loved at the network. It is clear that there are some larger issues at play. With that said, I want to thank my colleagues and the many teams I have worked with for an incredible run. They are the most talented journalists in the business, and I wish them all the best. Now, CNN immediately pushed back on his narrative. Uh, via their one of their many Twitter accounts. This one is CNN Communications, and they wrote, Don Lemon's statement about this morning's events is inaccurate. He was offered an opportunity to meet with management, but instead released a statement on Twitter. So here is my suspicion. My suspicion is that CNN is telling the truth, uh, that Don Lemon is emotional, and that he decided not to attend the meeting, and he was subsequently <laughs> fired. He released this statement. He knew, probably knew that it was coming. And I think that we've okay. all kind of felt it in the air. If you it just kind of so. seems like we're getting a different Don Lemon. And what I can likely deduce from him saying that, you know, he's essentially shocked by this and that he wasn't treated right is that he wrote that because he's gearing up for a lawsuit. Yeah, no, okay, people are saying that's a weird take from a conservative. No, it isn't. And, uh, well, okay, it kind of is. You're kind of right. I shouldn't be, I shouldn't say no, it isn't. It is kind of a weird take from a conservative, but it's not, it is not from Candace Owens. Because keep in mind that Candace Owens is in a leadership position at a news network now. She is the media machine. You see, uh, Daily Wire is her little project. And if you'll recall, she was just recently in a very emotional dispute with Steven Crowder, which is actually still going on to this very video. So of course she's gonna be like, yeah, it's Don Lemon being emotional, just like all the people who do it to me. I'm, yeah, I, I get CNN's position now so fucking funny it also allows her to be shitty to don lemon of course which is of course always a, a benefit Don lemon is likely going to sue cnn again i know that for a fact but it, the language definitely heavily suggests that this is not amicable now it is probably a good idea for don lemon to to sue cnn because that's probably going to be the only money he's going to have to spend for the rest of his life 
Don Lemon is not. That is so petty. Candace Owens is so fucking petty. God, that it, it's <laughs> the pettiness is off the chart. Oh God, the, I am so looking forward to her fucking roasting the shit out of Steven Crowder. It's gonna be so pathetic. Oh man, when conservatives when conservatives get in fights like this, they they literally just sling mud. God, it's so fucking funny. Not Tucker Carlson. Don Lemon is not fielding a bunch of offers. Don Lemon should sue because he's going to be poor as fuck for the rest of his life. But Tucker Carlson isn't. Please come work for my show, Tucker Carlson. Please, please come work for my show. Please, God, please. There's people were not giddy at the end of their seats going, oh my gosh, can we get Don Lemon? He brings in three million viewers, three to four million viewers every single night on his show like Tucker Carlson does. This is a tale of two very different anchors. So the entire world just opened up for Tucker Carlson, and yet the entire world just closed for Don Lemon. Why? No. Nice argument. Tucker Carlson just lost the world's biggest platform, and Don Lemon just lost not the world's biggest platform. So no, actually, actually no. You're just dead wrong. What are you fucking talking about? This is, literally, it's just, please work for me. Tucker Carlson, please call me. Please answer my calls. Please answer my emails. Please, Tucker Carlson, we, we would make so much money. Please, Tucker Carlson, call me back. Call me back, please. Hi. It's easy to laugh at Don Lemon. We certainly do a lot of that on the show because he's just so ridiculous. His antics have gotten so ridiculous. But I got curious about Don Lemon and where he began. And I was really shocked to discover that Don Lemon actually is not someone to mock based on his history. He actually used to be a respectable journalist. He actually used to be a respectable individual. First and foremost, Don Lemon grew up, if you didn't know this, in Louisiana. He Yeah, uh, yeah totally. Uh, this show is totally gonna be bigger than uh, as you guys can see, the future of Daily Wire is definitely so much bigger than Fox News. Daily Wire getting five, five, uh, sorry, getting 51,000 views in six hours, whereas Tucker Carlson from Fox News would get 3.25 million views live concurrent in real time from his platform there. I'm, I'm sure Tucker Carlson is just dying to transfer over to the Daily Wire. He was born and raised in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and he attended Louisiana State University. These people are so pathetic. Where he was a Republican. Don Lemon okay. used to be a Republican. When he got involved as a journalist, he was a Republican that had voted for Ronald Reagan. That instantly signifies to me is that there has been a huge departure from who Don Lemon was to who Don Lemon is today. You can't picture okay. a Republican Don Lemon uh, at all. And? It's, it's unimaginable. He's Wow, people grow and change? What, what is this supposed to, what is this supposed to, uh, this is so soy, I can't even believe it. What is this supposed to say? You're talking about when he was like a, a, a young man. Okay. So woke and he's so liberal and everything seems to be about race. It just, it just, he needs you to know that he is a black man. And in fact, we understand that the reason that- Oh yeah, Candace Owens never talks about race, guys, right? Candace Owens notorious, notoriously never talking about race, never did a lawsuit about race. CNN said this is the final straw when it came to Don Lemon was because of the way that he behaved when Vivek Ramaswamy was on his set. Vivek, we've had him on the show, obviously. He is running for president. He is an incredibly polished academic individual. He is not someone that is going to elicit emotion no matter what side of the aisle you're on. You can have a sane converse conversation with Vivek Ramaswamy. I can't imagine having a shouting match with him. He, he, he really is just that academic. Well, Don Lemon did because, well, Don Lemon's black. Take a listen. We have time. I, I, don't, I don't really. Huh? I'm sorry. Wh what? Did. Did. <laughs> what is that? What was that supposed to mean? <laughs> 
Also, okay, all right, okay. See what one has to do with the other, especially consider and using the Civil War to talk about black Americans. That war was not fought for black people to have guns. That's, that's, that's not... That war was fought for black people to have freedoms in this country. Yeah. Actually, that's why the Civil War was fought. Okay. And the sad that part wasn't about fought it... for, for black people to have guns, I think. Actually, you know, the funny fact is black people did not get to enjoy the other freedoms until their Second Amendment. From the Candace Owens Wikipedia page, in 2015, Candace Owens was the CEO of Degree 180, a marketing agency that offered consultation, production, and planning services. The website included a blog which was written and edited by Owens, which frequently posted anti-conservative and anti-Trump content, including mockery of Donald Trump's penis size. In a 2015 column that Ro Owens wrote for the site, she criticized conservative Republicans writing about the batshit crazy antics of the Republican Tea Party. Hmm. Yeah, see, conservatives always rely on their audience being stupid as fuck. They hate their own audience, and they know that their audience will never look anything up for themselves. It's so fucking sad. But keep in mind, all of this is just so, it just makes it even more soy coming from her. From her shitty little website, her shitty little daily wire grift. She's like, please, Tucker Carlson, I really want you. I really want you. Never gonna happen, bitch. Let's go. Rights were secured. And I think that that's but, one of the lessons that we still learned. aren't allowed to enjoy the freedoms. I disagree well with you country. on that, Don. Okay. I disagree with you. And I, I think it, you're doing a disservice well, to our country okay. by failing to recognize when the you, fact that we have the equality in before the law. you and you live in this country, then you can disagree with me. But we're not. You mentioned in here that I we disagree. have three different shades Don, of melanin I think melanin we have to be able here. to talk about these issues in the open regardless of the color of our skin. Now, by the way, that's the... She said that was a shouting match. She described that as a shouting match. That was like barely an argument. In her own words, in Candace Owens' own words, he had a shouting argument because he's black. Okay. Calm part of the clip. After he basically says, I'm black and you can't disagree with me, he then gets very excited and he's like, and not in a positive Okay, way. let's see. Let's see. Let's see if this lives up to what she said before. Maybe I, maybe I spoke too soon. I can admit, maybe I spoke too soon. Maybe he flips out. Let's find out. Well, he's, he becomes visibly angry and shaken and he tells the control that he can't hear and essentially just tries to shut Vivek down based on the color of Vivek's skin, which if you are not paying attention, Vivek is... In Indian, he is also the child of immigrants. He's brown, so I'm not really sure why he played this racial hierarchy. N News flash Candace Owens. Being black is different than being Indian. The reason why I'm, I'm reintroducing that clip, as I said, is because apparently this is when CNN said enough is enough. It was really embarrassing to watch. It was not necessary for him to become so irate. And you can see that his co-host just sits to the side quietly. But I'm introducing this clip because it is such a far departure from who Don Lemon, the Republican, or who Don Lemon, the more sensible individual who actually won Emmys, who was a journalist, a young journalist. In fact, when he was a local reporter and co-anchor in Chicago, he won three Emmys for his okay. reporting. Well, this is the old Don Lemon. Let me show you a clip from almost 10 years ago. All right, well, that's a lot of wind-up. There's a, this is a lot of well poisoning. When are we gonna get to the actual clip? Does she actually play the clip of him getting angry? Oh my God, she doesn't actually even play it. Wait, she doesn't actually even play the clip. of him sitting across from Morgan Freeman. Take a listen. I know that it's an issue, but I've been, it seems like every single day on television I'm talking about race and it's because of the news cycle, it's in the news, but I'm so, sometimes I get so tired of talking about it, I wanna, I wanna just go, this is over, can we move on? And, and, and if you talk about it, it exists. Right. Yeah. It's not like it exists and we refuse to talk about it, but making it a bigger issue than it needs to be is the problem we have. Who is that man sitting across from Morgan Freeman? 
Who is that sense? Yeah, in 2007, while a 17-year-old senior in high school, Candace Owens received three racist death threat voicemail messages totaling two minutes from a group of white male classmates. Owens' family sued the Stanford Board of Education in federal court, alleging that the city did not protect her rights, resulting in a $37,500 settlement in January 2008. Yep, Candace Owens never talks about race, though. Candace Owens has never actually, she doesn't believe, in fact, she thinks there, there's no problem with racism. Guys, come on. Sensible, rational, respectable man that was sitting across from Morgan Freeman. It, it actually was Don Lemon. It's shocking to compare. So that where's the, the clip, clip of him? him sitting where's the clip the of him getting mad? He is insisting on talking about race when it isn't necessary to. Where is he getting so mad? Morgan huh? Freeman, he's saying, I'm, I'm tired of everything being about race. So what happened to Don Lemon? Maybe that should have been my question of the day. What happened to Don Lemon? Where's the clip? Where he Where's ruined his reputation and essentially made him untouchable. Nobody wants to hire him. Like I said, I'll tell you what happened to Don Lemon. Black Lives Matter happened to Don Lemon. Don <laughs> Lemon is a cautionary. <laughs> oh, come on, you fucking grifter. You lame ass grifter. You don't even play the clip. And then you're saying it's Black Lives Matter that made him angry. Oh my God. Candace Owens is, oh my God. She's gotta be, she's one of the worst. This is so pathetic. I mean, I guess it makes sense why this is only pol Okay, guys, take a look at this, okay? I, I don't want to be a huge asshole about numbers. 1.57 million subscribers, and in six hours, she has gotten a whopping 51,000 views. With 1.57 million subscribers, nobody's watching her garbage, and it's because of stupid trash like this. Even her own audience doesn't buy her crap. Very tale for everybody out there that liberalism can in fact just rot your brain. Leftism can just rot your brain. He didn't even know how to anchor anymore by the time he got through playing the part of an angry black man on his show so much. Did you know that Candace Owens also attempted a website called Social Autopsy? It was when the, she, she was a liberal grifter. It was a Gamergate truther website. Oh my God. Many days throughout the week. Candace Owens I'm black, I'm is, is just a grift from top to bottom. There is nothing but grift left inside of her. Black on black, he essentially thought if he became a BLM protester, that his job would be secured forever. Nope, it turns out that people don't want a whiny toddler demanding to be heard on the basis of the color of their skin. Damn. Sounds like a bit of a self-report there, Candace Owens. Sounds like a little bit of a self-report. Whew. Damn, I have a better viewer ratio than that. I have a way better viewer ratio than that. Damn. God damn. If Don Lemon was the person that was sitting across from Morgan Freeman today, oh. there's no question that he would still have a job. And if he didn't have a job, there would be no question that there would be tons of bids coming his way. Don Lemon made a mockery of his own life because he refused to see anything beyond the color of his skin. So what is the lesson here, guys? Don't be Don Lemon. Don't let leftism rot your brain. The real lesson here is to remember that Don Lemon achieved more, more, more uh, 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 fame more success than Candace Owens can even dream of. Candace Owens is a, uh, is it shills herself out for her crappy company, barely getting any views, while people literally go and watch her co-hosts instead of her because she caters to racists. She is playing a losing game. I'm no big fan of Don Lemon, okay? I, I don't watch CNN. I, don't, I can't stand these liberal news organizations. Uh, because I'm a based leftist, see? Um, but let's just be real here. Can we have some actual real talk? This, this face right here, this is the one. This is the face that sums up the entirety of Candace Owens' life. It's a big ol' whelp. Yep, that's it. That's all you're getting. 
your 1.57 million followers won't even watch your stupid clips. And that's all I'm going to say about that. Using the internet without using ex Shut the fuck up. Let's go to the next thing. Let's let's hear what she has to say about Steven Crowder. That was what we were really here for. We got an extra treat with the Don Lemon stuff. But let's let's hear what she has to say about Steven Crowder, shall we? So first up, let's talk about Steven Crowder. A lot of you guys have probably seen his live stream this morning where he brings me up. So we're going to have to respond to that, obviously, because he makes some pretty heavy implications and insinuations in his video that are so patently false that it's shocking to me that a man with his following would be stupid enough to put this onto a platform. So let's first back this up in case you don't know who Steven Crowder is. It's totally plausible. He sort of lives on the internet. Steven Crowder- Hold on a second. She's, she's calling Steven Crowder irrelevant. I just gotta do a little bit of, we gotta do a little bit of fairness here, okay? We gotta do a little bit of fairness here, okay? Here we go. So this is his, this is his rumble video, okay? Steven Crowder's Rumble video. Now, I don't entirely trust Rumble's viewer metrics, but his Rumble video got 1.6 million views, okay? So her calling Steven Crowder a nobody is actually super funny because keep in mind, her video got no fucking views whatsoever. In fact, let's just find out what is YouTube. Let's put it platform to platform. Let's go see what his video did, how his video did on, on, his, uh, on his YouTube channel real quick. Oh, it's not up. Oh, he didn't post it. Oh, yes, he did. Here we go. Hey, hmm, hold on a second. We ready, everybody? Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 210,000 views on Steven Crowder's video. Only 51,000 views on Candace Owens' video. Uh-oh. Oh, shit. Four times more views? Who's the real nobody, you fucking loser? You're trying to say that Steven Crowder is a nobody when you don't even get a quarter of his fucking views. I, I, I fucking, I, I love it when conservatives fight. They're so stupid. Their fights are so pathetic. So, and they always look even more pathetic than you can imagine. Oh God, it's, it's such a blessing. It's such a blessing. I'll take a look at that in just a minute, Alora. Incredible. Let's go. There is somebody who has a show called Louder with Crowder who had something very terrible happen to him at the end of last year. The Daily Wire came to him with a $50 million term sheet. He was offered $50 million. I know, horrible, terrible. He was so upset by this that he then decided to do a video in which he calls out essentially all of the Daily Wire uh, hosts, myself included, for accepting slave-like contracts. These were the very heavy implications of that video that we needed to, his followers needed to stop big con talking about how we are all existing and we're kowtowing. And of course, mm -hmm. we responded forcefully to this because it's simply not true. The idea that I'm somehow in bed with big tech or that I'm dishonest in what I do simply because. Ex Gamergate, ex Gamergate truther Candace Owens, ex racial lawsuit Candace Owens, ex liberal blogger and anti-Trump blogger Candace Owens. Yeah, no, she's super honest, bro. So honest, so true. As he didn't, we didn't accept, I guess, his, his, his counter offer to the $50 million contract is pointedly ridiculous. Now, why are we talking about him again? Well, when in closing back in January, I essentially said, that we were no longer going to talk about Steven Crowder and I instead offered that people should pray for him because obviously when a man does something like that, he is broken. You don't do something like that to your friends unless there is something going on in your personal life. Uh-oh, Candace getting a little parasocial. <laughs> you don't, don't hurt your friends, the, the people who you were trying to work out a business deal. We were your friends, Steven. We were your friends. Didn't you learn anything from Arthur? Well, Steven Crowder announced this morning that he is going through a divorce, and I want to show you bits of that video. Take a listen.
Oh, really? But I needed to take a moment here to address some issues out there uh, that are We've circulating. We've already seen this. Uh, it's never fun. That he is a very bad act, Joe. Oh, the answer is likely yes. So much that I want to say here. First and foremost, if you're a person that watches his show, how do you not see that he is so obviously acting and that he is a very bad act? Actor. Do you feel bad for him when he says that? When he says, "Are you fam if you're familiar with the idea of extortion, well, if you are familiar with the idea of extortion, you should realize that that video that he just showed of me wasn't that. Nobody threatened him. Nobody made demands behind closed doors. His insinuation... Okay, you did threaten him, but to be fair, you sort of threatened him in self-defense. You were like, uh, uh, the clip that he played of you, you said that you were going to dump dirt if he didn't stop attacking you. So you did threaten him. You just weren't... I don't think it was extortion, but you did threaten him. Come on. ...that I knew about his divorce before he decided to attack the Daily Wire is a pointed lie. Let me tell you what actually went on behind the scenes. Steven Crowder on election night was our friend. He was on the backstage with all of us laughing, having a great time. He even sent me a retrospectively very flirty message thereafter on Instagram about how nice I looked on election. Okay, okay, I gotta be 100% real here. Fuck both of these people, but also Candace sounds salty as fuck here. She actually sounds saltier than Steven Crowder. And also keep in mind that Steven Crowder is definitely making way more money than they are right now. Steven Crowder's mug club is direct donations directly into his pocket. His show is like his own platform. So like, she sounds like mad cope here. This is just the copious shit I've ever heard. She's like, uh, uh, he, he even said I looked nice on Facebook. Oh my God, Steven, you're a bad friend. You're a fake friend. Tonight, even though I didn't respond. Do you get a mug? Yeah, that's the whole thing. His show is is like you subscribe to the mug club, you get the Steven Crowder mug, and you get a bunch of other stuff. But it, it's like, it's a direct to customer thing. He also has five times the subscribers that the daily, that, uh, that Candace Owens has. And also gets four times the views on all of his live streams than Candace Owens does. Sorry, but this just sounds like cope from Candace. To it. Um, thereafter, obviously, he attacked the Daily Wire. He decided to record his friend, Jeremy Boring, and to release the recording out of context to make it seem like uh, Jeremy Boring knows that he's employing all of us like we're slaves, right? Okay, this but, is what Steven Crowder did. Okay, he but who cares? What does any of this have to... Okay, I'm sorry. Wait, am I, am I missing something here? Is, this, is she trying to provide context for why she said what she said? Or is she just whining? He had a right to respond forcefully to all of his claims. We all did that on our different platforms. And then I said to myself, just sitting there one day, why is he doing this? It's, it's, a, it's a very simple question and an obvious question that any person would ask. This is not normal behavior. It's very erratic to go from being friends with somebody, being with them on election night, laughing, having a great time, to suddenly wanting to ruin their entire company and friend. launching Stop Big Con. It's, it's bizarre behavior. I turned to my husband and I said, where's his wife in all of this? Isn't she so supposedly a Christian? I'm just thinking about the way that I talk about everything in my life with my husband. Every night I'm talking to him about what's going on at work. I thought okay. to myself, where is Hillary Crowder in all of this? How did she not tell him not to do something this vicious and this disgusting? And then I said to my husband, I bet they, they're not even together. I logged on to Instagram and I found Hillary Crowder's Instagram account and I looked to see and it turned out that she didn't follow Steven Crowder. Oh my God, they, oh my God, they're not following each other on social media. Oh my God, Hillary Crowder wasn't following Steven Crowder on Instagram anymore. Oh! Shut the fuck up. And that Steven Shut Crowder didn't up. follow her. He didn't follow anybody in her family, and she wasn't following anybody in his family. That was my aha moment. Clearly, there was some sort of a separation. Now, this might sound like crazy CIA stuff, woman stuff. These are like, these are grown adults. This is the state of the modern conservative movement, okay? They want you to believe 
that while they're crying and screeching about trans people, they're super serious, and yet this is this is their lives. Going and investigating each other's Instagram. You unfollowed me on Facebook. Exactly what happened. I then spoke to Jeremy at the Daily Wire and I said, Do you think that him and his they wife stopped being oopies. If we're potentially separated, and he said, No, 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 no. Obviously, it's his friend. He would have known whether or not they were separated, uh, except he didn't. He actually had no idea they were separated either. Finally, we decided in conclusion, Jeremy advised, that we just stay out of it, that this is actually not our business. Okay, hold on, I gotta say another thing, okay? Skill issue, skill issue between Steven Crowder and, and Candace Owens here. Steven Crowder's video, He's gripping the desk, shaking and quivering, and constantly looking at the gun on his desk, saying that he'll, d I'll do anything to defend my kids. I'll do anything. I'll take down any one of you. And, and Candace Owens responds by being like, I saw that you unfollowed your wife on Facebook. Damn, Candace, you're getting outplayed. Outplayed, out, out clouded. But at least it actually felt good to learn that he was going through something privately because it assigned some reason for something that he did that was so horrific and so irrational to his friends. And finally, we said, okay, this is a broken man. This is what I was thinking. This is a broken man who is on some sort of a spiral. It is likely his divorce that led to this moment. He's acting erratic, he's acting panicked, and this at least gives us, gives us some sort of an excuse for why he behaved this way. That's it. That's the big scary story. I then went onto my platform and I said, pray for Steven Crowder, honestly, because that's what he needs, he needs a prayer. And apparently nobody's answering those prayers right now because he's still acting erratic. He's now upping. Atheist, atheist moment. The ante and suggesting that I extorted him. I will not take that lightly, okay? I am not Hillary Crowder. I am not anybody in his family. I am not going to take somebody going onto his platform and alleging that I either harass- Why is she attacking his wife now? Oh man, this is sloppy, Candace. This is sloppy. This is sloppy asked, even for you. Threatened or did anything that would put his children at risk. That is very serious stuff that he is saying. And so what I did this morning after this clip was sent to me is I contacted a defamation lawyer and I am sending Steven Crowder a cease and desist and I'm going to demand- I'm gonna sue you! Soy! You sound soy! You sound soy. This is soy. I'm gonna sue you. Ooh. Steven Crowder was shivering and turning red in the face and, and, and looking at the gun on his desk and you're like, I'm gonna sue you. This is amazing. Oh, I love it. They're so pathetic. A full rejoice, rejoice, my imps, for the time we have endured their garbage for so long, and our time to feast on their misery has come. Feast on it and celebrate. Let it strengthen you. We got fucking gun toting Steve versus lawsuit Candace. Retraction to the idea that Candace Owens threatened him or extorted him. And not that I simply did a little math. One plus one equals two. A crazy man doing these sorts of things to his friends obviously means that something is going on personally. Honestly you guys offered him a, a, a joke contract. Okay, guys, listen. The amount of money that Steven Crowder is making, Steven Crowder did indeed accidentally reveal to all of the, all of his fans just how much money is rolling around in the conservative movement and that was careless of him because you see conservatives don't talk about the money like that because they need you they need their viewers to believe that they're being talked to by every man even though like conservatives are like, you know, normal American this, working class American that, normal American this. They try to pretend that they're the normal guys, but they're all loaded. They're all loaded beyond your wildest dreams. Steven Crowder made the mistake of revealing that. However, Daily Wire made the mistake of lowballing Steven Crowder. The truth is the contract that they offered him was a ripoff. He's making way more money and he has complete creative control of his platform, like it or not.
uh, again, his platform sucks, but it's smarter than what Daily Wire was offering him. And he called them on it. Candace is coping. This is just raw cope. They wanted to roll him in so that they could leech off of him. They wanted their floundering platform. And now he's having the last laugh and also actually going insane. She is, she is right about that. It does seem like he's actually losing his mind. But sorry, you look worse here, Candace. You look way worse. You look like a clout shark, frankly, honey. Honestly, this time, I'm not even going to suggest that anybody should pray for him. I am so deeply troubled by the idea that he is trying to insert me into this narrative pertaining to his divorce. I'm frankly angry about this. So I'm going to hope that he does the right thing, okay, that he does another one of his live feeds on the exact same platform and via the exact same medium and offers me an apology and takes back every single word that he says. Oh, weak, Candace. Weak. This is weak. Weak, weak, weak. And, by the way, if you think that that's bad, here's how he decided to end this clip pertaining to his divorce. It's, it's pretty simple. Um, I... There he is. There he's looking at the gun. I told you. He's shivering, sweating, looking at the gun. He's selling himself as the guy who's going to go fucking ape shit. I loved a woman so much that I married her. A woman who, despite all of this, I still love as the mother of my children. And she wanted something else for her life. That's not my choice. Chris Harris with the incredibly generous $5 super chat. Thank you very, very much for supporting the show. By the way, if you are here and enjoying this lovely and hilarious content and coverage, please smack that subscribe button and considering throwing a few dollars my way, this is a 100% viewer supported show. So if you love it, throw some support and love my way. It would mean the world to me. Thank you very much, Chris Harris, for the super chat. Choice. She simply wanted out, and the law says that that's how it works. Now, of course, look, I get it. There are multiple sides to every story, but one thing that is undeniable uh, in this case is that it's no one's fault but my own in that I picked wrong. I picked wrong. <laughs> wow. How kind, how loving. You really must have loved this woman, Steven Crowder. Again, I don't know who's buying your act anymore. I, I certainly haven't bought it from the very beginning. Well, no one, well if, if no one's buying Steven Crowder's act, even less people are buying Candace Owens' act, just judging by the pure viewership numbers. Sorry, Candace, numbers don't lie. It's very obvious to me exactly what you are. You come across to me as a very dishonest individual. It seems to me, Stephen, that you really, for whatever reason, want to insert me into this narrative. Like there is just something about me that you are hyper-focused on. And so I want to help you a bit. And really, I want to help your wife because you essentially just used your platform. Millions of people have access to your platform. She doesn't have the same. Uh, to insult her. Uh, you, you picked the wrong woman, okay? So <laughs> yeah, true. Posadas John points out, wait a minute, that Candace Owens literally tried to buy his act, as in literally. They actually tried to, you, that's an excellent point. They tried to buy his act. <laughs> what the fuck? Candace, you suck. Boo, boo. So here's what I would like to do. I would like to invite Hillary Crowder onto my platform because she doesn't have <laughs> one. And because please, okay, okay, I take it back. Never mind, I take it back. I take it all back. I take it back. I take it back. If if Candace Owens gets Stephen Crowder's wife onto her platform, that would actually be a flex, okay? I take it back. There's one hope for Candace Owens. I thought there was no hope. There's one hope. The one hope is that Hillary Crowder actually accepts because, ooh, oh, please, please let that happen. As her ex-husband apparently just used his to insult her, to say that he picked the wrong woman. I find that to be really despicable. So Hillary Crowder, if you are watching, you are more than welcome to come on my show and to talk about what's actually going on. Because as I said, I don't trust a single word that comes out of Steven's mouth. All right, speaking of Hillary Crowder and mothers everywhere, Mother's Day is around. Okay, all right, all right, that's enough. No more Candace Owens. Hold on, everybody. We need a moment of, of we need a moment of, of solemn, solemn seriousness, okay? 
Hillary Crowder. I know you must be going through a very hard time having to be married to Steven Crowder, but if you're out there and you're listening to this somehow and my message somehow reaches you, I am going to really need you to, to accept that invitation onto Candace Owens' show for the good of all humanity, really, for God. God personally wants you to expose your uh, filthy husband on Candace Owens' show. I'm, I'm really going to need you to take that. Um, and uh, really, it would be doing a service to your country, for, to the people of America, to God, to Jesus, to baby Jesus. Um, in the name of God, please accept Candace Owens' uh, invite and spill all of your dirty laundry on Candace Owens' embarrassing platform for the good of all of us, um, especially for my own uh, me. I know that you probably know me and watch my show and care a whole lot about me, so you should go on there for that reason. Also, oh yeah, I should say, uh, also, I would like to extend my own invitation. Hillary Crowder, if you're out there watching, I would love to have you on my show. As you know, I am an unbiased source. Uh, I hate both Candace Owens and Steven Crowder, which means if you came on here, you would have even more fun and you wouldn't have to worry about playing the politics game between them because I don't like either of them. So Hillary uh, Crowder, if you're out there, we would love to have you on the Demon Mama show uh, as soon as possible. Shoot me an email. It would mean the world to me and we'll make sure your story gets told and you don't have to deal with any grifters. So, yeah, there you go. It would be better. I know that you're more likely to go on Candace Owens' show because, you know, Candace Owens is admittedly a slightly larger show than myself, but you'd have more fun here and you'd look better. So there you go. Anyway, uh, yeah, um, uh, with that said, wow, Candace Owens sucks. Uh, wow, Steven Crowder sucks. God, they suck so much. But I absolutely love to see conservatives tearing strips out of each other. Nothing makes me happier than when conservatives ruin each other's lives. I hope that they continue to ruin each other's lives. I know that they will continue to ruin each other's lives. And that means that uh, the, the ground is fertile for all kinds of other channels, including ones like my own. So if you had fun today uh, watching us uh, uh, pour over the, the filthy laundry of these disgusting conservative grifters, smack that subscribe button and become an imp today because you know you had a good time. You know you had a good time in this beautiful stream with these beautiful people over here. You should be one of us. Press subscribe.